So this is the LG 34WN750 monitor. And I have to say, this is a really appealing monitor. Now, normally when it comes to ultra widescreen monitors, you'd be looking at having to fork out close to, and in most cases, over a thousand dollars to get anything of decent quality. And so whilst this one from LG isn't outrageously cheap, the lower price tag certainly makes it interesting. So I wanted to take some time with this monitor to determine what features have been left out to get that price down and see where we land in regards to whether this is a monitor that I can recommend. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll start with the specs. As the name suggests, this is a 34 inch monitor and it comes with a resolution of 3440 by 1440. So it's not quite 4K, but with the ultra wide aspect ratio, I think there are definitely enough pixels to keep everything looking sharp and crisp. Now coming from using LG's 5K 2K ultra wide panel, I can certainly tell that this monitor isn't quite as sharp, but that's only after immediately switching between the two. And to be honest, after a few minutes of using this panel, I kind of forget that it has a lower resolution. Beyond the screen resolution, this monitor has HDR10 support. It has a maximum brightness output of 300 nits, a 1000 to 1 static contrast ratio, and it covers 99% of the sRGB color spectrum. Now, for those who are apprehensive about using an ultra wide monitor in the first place, let me say this to you. Firstly, they look incredible on just about any desk setup. So if aesthetics is your thing, then using an ultra wide monitor will suit you to a T. But secondly, and more importantly, you pretty much get the benefit of using two standard size monitors next to each other, but without the bezel down the middle. For me as a content creator, I'm just such a big fan of creating content and perhaps even more so consuming content on an ultra wide panel like this one. When I'm editing in Premiere Pro or After Effects, for example, I can be fairly zoomed in to my timeline to be able to make minor adjustments, but because of that ultra wide aspect ratio, I can still see a fair chunk of the timeline on my monitor. Now on the back of the monitor, we have two HDMI ports and a display port for connectivity, which isn't as many as some other monitors from LG. And there's no USB type C connector either, which might prove to be a deal breaker for some MacBook Pro users in particular. But in reality, the three ports on offer should well be enough for most users. We also have a USB type B input and two USB type A outputs, which means you could probably get away with not having to touch your PC to connect or disconnect USB drives again. Now in terms of design, LG has always been one of the best when it comes to their monitors. And this model here is no different. Super slim bezels all the way around, an entirely black colorway, which I really dig. And in all honesty, it's just an unobtrusive and minimal design that doesn't shove itself in your face. I like it. It does also offer tilt and height adjustments, which makes it really easy to adapt to your work environment. And it's also outrageously easy to set up and connect to the stand that it comes with, with its one click tooler system. And this is something that I really appreciate. One thing to keep in mind is that the power cable itself is not your average kettle cord power adapter. And I find the one that comes with this monitor to be somewhat tricky to cable manage because it's quite chunky. But to be honest, that is very much so a nitpick and it's not a deal breaker whatsoever. Aside from all of that, if this monitor falls within your budget, then you really can't go too wrong with it. Now I know it's not true 4K and it doesn't have USB type C, but it's incredibly color accurate. It's beautifully designed as well. And that ultra wide aspect ratio really does make it fantastic for consuming and creating content. For what you get, it's really hard to find a monitor this good and at this price point. So if you wanna learn more about this monitor or check out the many other ultra wide monitors besides this model that LG has as well, there will be links down in the description below. Real quick, before I finish up, just wanted to shout out LG who were kind enough to send the 34WN750 monitor my way to test and review for this video. No, they haven't paid for this review, but it's incredible that I get to check out these types of products for my channel. So go show LG some love by using those links down in the description below. But aside from that, that is it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.